What's up, Pokemon? Put Wild Chase here again, bringing you a black and white battle you don't want. I know you don't want it, but I just love pissing you guys off. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But anyways, we got a game here against Strategy Opponents. It's a really fun one. So yeah, he leads off with a Voltros. I lead off a Tyranitar because uh, yeah, I got a Tyranitar. And I actually just made this team like 10 minutes before this battle, so it's actually my first time using it. So I was like, eh. But uh. Yeah, I laid up rocks. He went for the Thunderbolt. I was kind of confused why he went for Thunderbolt right away. I guess he thought a Focus Blast wouldn't kill right off. So, now he goes for the Focus Blast. Unfortunately, it does hit, and it does take me out, which does really suck, because I do have a good amount in Special Defense Investment, plus the Sandstorm is up, but I guess it's not enough. So, I go to my own Voltros, but I kind of retardedly went for the Thunderbolt. I should have gone for the HP Ice, because I do have the HP Ice, and I do have the Expert Belt. Because this is like a really weird mixed set, which is supposed to be like a wall breaker. Like I said, I just made this team, so it was like, eh. But, so, because of that, I'm basically down 4 or 5 right now. I'm really not in a good spot. So I sent him my 8 because it was a blind switch in. He went out to his Rotom. I didn't want to risk him being choiced, so I just said to straight go out to my Notore. Even though most Rotom are defensive, I just want to make sure. And he is luckily defensive, so it was like, yeah. If I stayed in close combat, I could have been fucked. Well, then again, I would have been fucked either way. So I lit up Spikes. He tried to go for will o -Wisp. He missed. It is kind of annoying, but oh well, it's a game. Uh, he goes out to his own Notori as I lit up my second layer of Spikes because he wants to get up his own Spikes. So I'm just going to go for my third layer here because it's like I already started setting them up. Might as well finish setting them up. I didn't see any spinner, so I'm like, all right, it's safest at this point to do that. So I'm like, okay, um, let's go back out to Ape because I need to get rid of this Notori because... It's a Notore. I should get rid of it. So he gets up his second layer there. Big deal. Whatever. But uh, I know basically all of his team is hit by close combat. So I know he will probably won't want to switch. Plus he's probably predicting me to predict his switch. So he'll expect me to go for something else. But I do just go straight for the close combat. And that will take him out. So that is very cool. So yeah, he's dead. I don't know what else there is to say, but he's dead. So he goes out to his Latios. And I'm kind of thinking he's going to want to predict my switch over to my Notoria, just because how I've been seeing so far, he seems like he'd want to over-predict a lot, just because, you know, try and get on top of the prediction games against Wild Chase, but... So he does go for the trick, and I just uh, stay and go for the close combat, and he does trick me, so I already said that, but he tricks me the specs, he has a band now, so he's basically useless. He decides to go for the Thunderbolt to finish me off, which means I get a free switch in my Randorosu, it, and it's, yeah, it's a Randorosu, because it's fine, I have the Randorosu, but, uh, yeah, I go for the Stone Edge, knowing he'll want to switch, and really, it's the only thing I had to hit Latios anyways, besides my HP Ice, but I didn't really want to go for HP Ice, and I do luckily hit the Stone Edge against Rotom, almost takes him out, but I am going to be forced to switch here, because I don't want to risk missing a Stone Edge and losing my Randorosu, because I know Randorosu will be helpful, so I want to keep it around, um, he just goes for Pain Split, either predicting my Stone Edge to miss, well, you can't really predict that. You're banking on the Stone Edge to miss, or predicting my switch. I do switch out to my Budungeru, because, uh, yeah. So he goes for the Thunderbolt here, and I am able to live it with 23, because I do have, I think I am a 252 Calm Borutorosu, so my special defensive one. And uh, he gets a Parahax, will kind of play key later, but right now, doesn't really matter. But I am able to get the recover off, so it's good for me. So, here, I think I decide to go for the Toxic, just thinking, okay, um, I'd rather have Toxic on it, and then I can maybe stall it out with Notore, but he does overpredict and go for the Hydro Pump, and that is awesome, because then I'll be able to live one more Thunderbolt, and right now I'm just trying to sack Budungeru, so I was like, wow, I actually get to keep Budungeru longer, and he pr predicts me to switch again, which is amazing, so I can go for Shadow Ball, Hit him down pretty low and kind of cut this stalling process short. So now I'm like, alright, he's not going to overpredict again. He is going to either go for the pain split or the thunderbolt. More than likely the pain split. So I am going to want to recover here. And he does go for the pain split, so I recover. Because, you know, I'd like to be at full. And so, yeah, I get up to full and he's still poisoned. And all that nice stuff. So, uh, la 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 Should have sped this up a little bit more, but oh well. So here he decides to switch out, go into his Rapushin. I did just recover this turn again, I believe. So, I was like, shit. But, 
Repression, I'm not too scared of. Now, I was thinking right now, okay, his Repression is probably going to have the payback, and because I'm paralyzed, it does mean that he can't get the boost from payback, which means he will have a harder time taking me out. So he goes for a bulk up here. I just go for the boiling water because I want to get as much damage as possible. And I know most people would say, hey, that's crazy going for boiling water on a Repression. But I do want to get the residual damage working so I can kill him off quicker, but I don't get the burn there. He goes for another bulk up, so I'm like, alright, I'm going to be okay for now. And, uh, yeah, he go I go for another boiling water. I do bring him down kind of low. I really would have liked that burn there, but I don't get it again. So, that kind of sucks. I probably would have actually taken him out by this turn about, or next turn at least, if I had the burn before, but he actually goes for the Stone Edge here, which is weird, and actually why the Parahax was kind of key, and I do get par Paralyzed there, kind of sucks, but oh well, it's a game. So if I didn't get the Paralyzed there, I would have, or Paralyzed earlier, I would have taken him out right here, but it's how shit goes, and blah blah blah. So he's able to take me out with the Stone Edge here, with the useless crit, because crit didn't matter, he obviously had five other pokes to take it, but uh, is unfortunate that he hit both those stone edges, but that's how it is. So I bring in my Randorosu, because I know that's the only thing that can take out this thing. And he makes a really big misplay here by not going for the Mach Punch, and you'll see why later. So now he goes out to his Latios. I know my uh, Notori can take any hit from it, and I know he won't want to trick me. So I safely go out to it. But he goes for the Ice Beam, which I kind of found weird. I mean, in most situations, Ice Beam wouldn't be that useful, but... He's able to make it useful in this situation, so that's good for him. He's just going to keep Ice Beaming. I go for the Leech Seed here, kind of retardedly. I should have just gone for the Gyro Ball right away. Because <clears throat> then I probably would have ended up with more HP in the long run. But, you know, it doesn't really matter because now he's just going to go for the Ice Beam. Just randomly go for Spikes because it's like, yeah, he'll just die from Sandstorm, which is why I should have just gone for the Gyro Ball because... As you saw last turn, I would have been at about 30 more HP, which would have been nicer, but that's how it goes. He goes out to his scissor, goes for the U-turn, just in case I want to go out to Rain Rose to try and get damage on it. But I luckily live with three, which is really key, because I went for the Leech Seed here. He's going to go back into Rotom, and I will hit this Leech Seed, which means I'll get about 30 HP back, and then, well, not about 30, about, uh, yeah, about 30, I think. So let's see here, I get about... 20 back from lefties and then about like okay about like 20 or 30 ish whatever but yeah so he's just gonna go for the willow s pier um yeah excuse that but uh yeah so that's really key because now he can't take me out with thunderbolt or hydro pump so he's forced to go for willow s to try and get as much damage as possible on my notore and now he's just gonna bring back in scissor and uh he's gonna get really low from spikes and stealth rock which is really cool but he's just gonna go for gonna go for bullet punch here and he almost dies from steel thorns but not quite but yeah he goes for bullet punch because I ran a rosu still and it was enough to take out Notori so here if I live I win and I do live with 47 which means that is game and that was a really fucking awesome match Raji Pones and um yeah really good match so hope you guys enjoyed even though most of you probably didn't but hope you guys enjoyed um if you liked it check out my channel check out Raji Pones channel sub to the mosh pit give it a like etc etc rate comment sub and I'll catch you guys next time